Hey guys, Mark here, Rain Wars. Welcome back. Folks, <laughs> having a good day today. Um, it's Friday, and I just wanna give a quick shout out to all the new subscribers who joined the family. Say welcome, I've got a message for you guys. Uh, an encouraging message, but one that to think about. It'll be a blessing to you. And if you just happen to land on this channel, and um, this message speaks to you, give it a like, a thumbs up, and consider hitting the subscribe button and joining the family. Let's get into it, folks. You know, folks, I wanted to um, just share. Recently, and I don't think, that, I don't even want to say just recently, because I think it's been, it's been a while that this has been really on God's heart. Um, and the Lord has been really, I'd say, showing me um, how important it is, but also too, uh, there's a distinction between religion and us and us having a relationship with God, a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There's a stark difference. You know, um, I believe that it is on God has been doing everything He can. To draw his people onto himself. To spend time. To get out of the whole busyness of all of life. Um, because <clears throat> sometimes we get caught up with all these different things that were going on. Oh, we, we, we got work, we got we got, you know, you got your business, we got family stuff, we've got um you know, all these various things that are pulling and tugging for our time. But we have to ask ourselves, how much time are we spending with God? How much time are we spending with our Lord and Savior? And I just throw that out there, folks. I just throw that out there. And I think, you know, the Lord is really, like I said, a place on it. And I'm not speaking at you guys. I'm just speaking um, and sharing that I, what I believe is on the Lord's heart and what he's speaking to me about. You know, God loves us, cares for us. He wants us to develop that intimate and personal relationship with Him. Get to know Him for ourselves. And I'm not talking about folks where we go to a uh, church service, we sit there for an hour, we listen to somebody tell us about who God is, we, sh we close up our Bibles, or even in most churches right now, you don't even have a Bible. <laughs> to open up. Uh, but you just listen to somebody tell you about who Jesus is. Who he is. And in the days that we're actually living in right now, you got to be careful with some of the messages and some of the things that are being put out there. Is it actually in line with, <laughs> in line with Scripture? Because we've got a lot of stuff that's out there uh, that's out there that's far from um, with some of the things that are being taught out there and some of the things that are being um, put out there. You have to question, is it even biblical? Is it, you know, does it line up with the Word of God? So, um, my message today is, and I encourage my brothers and sisters, I'm encouraging myself, to take ownership in getting to know who our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is. Getting to know God. And I'm not saying, and, and folks, this is not a message to put a bash on the church or put a bash on anybody. Okay? This is, that, that's not what this is about. But what it is about is that we need to know who the Lord is for ourselves. You know, we need to have a personal relationship with the Lord for a number of reasons one we need to know who he is <laughs> he loves us he cares for us he created us um, he wants to spend time with us and he has all the answers to all, any issue situation circumstance problem that you may find yourself we need the Lord 
when you look out in the world right now and all the shaking that's going on in the world, all the uncertainty, all the, I'll call it, all the issues, where do people find peace? Where do people find joy? If you are, if you, you know, I, I sometimes, I, I, I wonder, um, if you don't know God and you have to deal with all the stuff that's going on out there in the world and you have nothing to look forward to, you have nothing to put your hope in, your trust in, to cry out to for help, but you got to figure it out all on your own. Folks, it's rough. It's very rough. But God wants us to spend time with him and to get to know him. And the only way that we can do that is to commune with him, talk to him, get in his word. That, that's one of the best ways that you can get to know who, who God is, know his personality, know his character, know who he is, is in his word. Spending time in the word of God, listening to the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing the word of God. That's, that's, one of the, that's, that's one of the best ways that you're going to get to know who the Lord is. And then maybe you've been spending, time, like I said, quiet time in the presence of God. You know, sharing your heart. You know, we have to humble ourselves. Humble ourselves and share with God. When we, you know, the issues that we've got going on. The problems, the different things that we, that we struggle with. Even the things that we struggle with in our walk with Him. You know, it's not like God doesn't know. You know, doesn't know what you're, what, what, what we, uh, what we struggle with, and um, doesn't see. But it takes a certain level of humility to come in before the Lord, and be able to express what you're struggling with, or what's um, bothering you. Which you know, we're, we're, you know, we a lot of times we, when we, when we're going through something, the first reaction is to run to a friend, folks. Like I said, I'm not speaking at you. I'm speaking to myself, <laughs> too. Our first reaction, go ahead, run to our friend. Pick up the phone call and start, start talking to someone. What about God? Why isn't God the first reaction? Why isn't the Lord, when we have something that happens or some issue or something that comes up, or we need advice on something, that we're not in our prayer closet and going ahead and spending time and talking with God about it? That should be our reaction, you know, the first reaction. And folks, you know, like I said, this is a message that's being delivered in love. This, there's no condemnation here. I'm speaking to myself also because I, I, I'm, I'm trying to break out of that, you know, with the help of the Lord, by the help of the Holy Spirit, that we're keeping our alignment Right, where he's first. God has all, folks, no matter what the issue or whatever it is that you find in your life, the Lord has the answer. But we have to go ahead and spend time. Maybe, in, like I said, prayer, praise and worship, um, in the word of God itself. The Lord is thirsting for time. He's hungry and thirsting to spend time with you, with me. I believe this is what's of the heart of God. And in 2020, when we had the lockdowns and all the other things that happened and churches were closed, folks, if we were looking at this from a spiritual perspective, I'm not talking about looking at the virus and all the other stuff that's sort of in the natural, looking at it from a spiritual perspective. There may have been a silver lining in that. That because of the lockdowns and all the other stuff, you couldn't even go to church, was time to go ahead and spend more time with the Lord. If we were analyzing it and looking at it from the proper verse, in, 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 from a spiritual perspective. And I believe even to now that God is hungry for us to spend time with Him. Ask yourself, how much time are you you spending with the Lord? Five minutes? Ten minutes? One day? Every other day? Once a week? 
Be honest with yourself. On how much time that you're spending with God. I have to be honest with myself. I gotta check myself. I mean, Lord, like I said, I'm sharing with you what I believe that the Lord is looking, you know, when he's speaking to me. Because I think that it would be a blessing and encouragement to you guys. But I think all of us, what the Lord wants us to, you know, you know, in our walk with God, what I love is that we have to look at our walk, you know, sometimes just reflect and do a self-check. And one of the areas that we have to check is, is how much time we're spending with the Lord. How much time we're spending with the Lord, putting aside all the other stuff, putting aside all the, all the, you know, all the plans, all the goals, all the, um, you know, whatever it is that, sh that you got going on. And making God the priority. I think that's what the Lord has been hungering for. And as the shaking gets greater out there in the world, because folks, that shaking is only going to increase. We're going to realize we need need to know, or we're going to know how much we need the Lord. Some of us started waking up, but many people, many are still asleep. They need to wake up. And God is trying to wake them up with all the things that are going out there in the world, trying to get folks' attention to turn to Him, to spend time with Him, to come and look to Him, because He is our provider, our protector, our defender, our avenger. Everything we need, He is. He is our covering. He is our shelter, our strong tower. Our, he is the rock. And He's looking for us to be, or should I say, spend more time with Him. That's the message, folks. That's the message. So I urge all of you, and I'm speaking to myself also, to sit down and really think about how we're spending our time and how much time during the course of the week are we giving the Lord. And, um, and like I said, folks, this is no condemnation at all in this message. It's just a message to encourage all of us that if we're not spending time with the Lord, we're not building our relationship with the Lord, that we start doing that. That we jump on it and start doing that. God's arms are wide open waiting for you to come. So if this message speaks to you, Give it a like, a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button. God loves you. Always remember that. Jesus loves you big time and wants to spend time with you. Share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. And we'll see you in the next video.